year and a half ago when I was in Cincinnati, my daughter and I were driving to Fairview, a um, little bit north of Cincinnati, and we were on 275. If you know Ohio or you know Cincinnati, you know 275. And it was on a weekday in the middle of the day. Um, it wasn't busy, it wasn't rush hour. And we were just driving along going to uh, Jungle Gyms, which I'll talk about in a minute. And all of a sudden, of course, my granddaughter was in the back seat, and uh, my daughter was driving. We were in her car as a, a Nissan. Um, she just had this um, reminiscence. She goes, oh, mom, she goes, uh, let's pray for the car. So we did, okay, Lord Jesus, um, please protect the car. Please protect us in it. Um, amen. It was a short prayer. We drove about like three more minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Um, way up ahead, we saw this guy running into the road. He had his car. It was a sedan. He had his car parked. Um, off to the side and he was looking frantic and he was in the road and he looked like he was going to pick up something and my daughter said what in the heck is he doing you know I was almost a perturbed boy do I gotta like watch out for this guy's running in the road well guess what somebody along the way had dropped a uh, huge it was an extension ladder and it kind of blended it was hard to see and uh, he was he had stopped risking his life to get that out of the way so she really slowed down and we both just looked at each other. Oh, I mean, we got, you know, the hair on the back of our necks. I mean, if we would have hit that ladder, I don't know the physics of it, but I don't think it would have been good. Um, it could have spun us around. It could have overturned, spun us and overturned. Um, it could have, we hit it and it came up and just uh, smashed the, um, and we knew it wasn't his ladder because he was in a sedan. So some truck had dropped a ladder and it fell off. And uh, so I just wanted to tell you that story. I thought about it today and I felt led to, to um, tell it. Uh, maybe it'll inspire somebody. Um, look out. If you feel an um, uh, uh, inclination to pray, just go ahead and do it. Um, sorry, my um, I didn't bring my uh, tripod with me. I'm out walking around, but I wanted to relay that. So if this is a little shaky, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so later I'm going to, um, as soon as I get done with my walk, well, it'll be right next. I'm going to wash my hair. You want to see how I do it now. So I'm going to do it. And it needs to be washed. I mean, look at this. I didn't even do anything with it. I kind of uh, moved it up with my fingers and put it up. So see on the other side. Oh, this is my favorite spot. There's a nice um, seat down here. It's, it's a stone. Well... Yeah, this is part of the uh, the trunk. It feels like a stone. There is a stone that's been grown. It's grown, the tree's grown over the stone. So it's like this little seed. This is the best spot in the house, yeah. So, um, got my blue on. You know, <laughs> I realize as I'm walking around here, I feel dressed up. <laughs> this is like these opera, opera gloves. Yeah, I feel all dressed up today. I thought, uh, green and blue, ooh, aqua. Okay, so I just want to mention Jungle Gyms. I don't, um, I think there's only one. I'll have to look it up online. I think there's only one, and it's in um, Fairview. It's a little bit north. It's sort of like a little suburb of Cincinnati. It's still included in uh, Hamilton County. Hamilton County is huge. And uh, so if you're from Cincinnati area, you've been through, you know. I'm just clicked into a memory for you. Jungle Gyms is huge oh it's it's um it's this huge warehouse it has everything i mean oh my goodness i don't well i don't know if they sell furniture but you know um it's they have all this international food they have aisles that you go down japan germany poland spain Mexico, uh, yeah, almost every country, well not every country, but most countries, they have their own, uh, oh Great Britain, uh, they have their own uh, aisle and their food from there. You could spend hours in there and then they have a section that's regular food. They have a whole section of um, huge gluten-free, um, they, they sell their kitchenware. 
is huge. If you, you they've got everything, um, everything you know, from just all kinds of ice cube trays or all kinds of you know thousands of spatulas and <laughs> yeah, um, appliances, little appliances. Yeah, uh, just it it is really something. If you ever are in the area, you must go to Jungle Gems. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna wash my hair. Um, I just keep this down in one of the bins of like um, beauty products, things like that. So, got. I want to finish this off. Shampoo. And a little bit of the really good stuff. Um, conditioner and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these together and do it together that way I um, use less water these are the products I'm going to use this is my purple towel it's a microfiber towel and I bought it on Amazon this is one of those um, I, I've mentioned these before to wash up they dry really quickly but this is my collapsible bucket, or actually this is more of a sink. I have a blue, more of a bucket, it stands higher, but this is my sink. Okay, well, I'm going to wash my hair now. You get to see it. <laughs> I'll put this here, have this ready to go. I'll have these here ready to go. I've got water. What I did was I evened it out because sometimes when it's too heavy, it's hard to dump over my head. So it would be nice to have a pitcher. Oh yeah, it would be great to have a pitcher. But um, that's just one extra thing to carry. I think I could manage a couple days a week to actually hold this for a little bit and dump it over my head. So. Lovely. <laughs> it does feel clean. <laughs>
Um, yeah. <laughs> so my bucket, I'm going to set my bucket here on the bin so I can go outside and I'm going to put it on um, the, uh, in the parking lot. The clean, I mean, it's better than oil and transmission oil leaking and things like that. So it did use, it used about one and a half of these, roughly, about one and a half. So, but I did get it all out. It felt like it totally got it all out. So that was easy and there's no mess. I mean, I just was conscious to leave my head over. This is how much water is in here. This is almost to the top. My hair is so clean. And this is barely even wet. Actually, it feels good just like this. I think I'll let it dry like this. It's got that beach bum look about it. So, let me put this up here. There we go. Got this up here. My door. I'll just slide my door open and throw it out into the, um, the parking lot here. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. You guys have a really good day. Bye.